Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Pisces singles, let's see what your overall energies are. Pisces singles, what is it you need to know? Pisces singles. Ooh, someone's about to initiate. <laughs> Initiation. Yeah, see, eye of the needle, someone's intentions. So someone here definitely is focused. Their intentions is to initiate. But it's also telling you to look at what their intentions are. Yeah, treasure hidden in the shadows. Ooh, feast of plenty. Oh my goodness, choices and their consequences. So it looks like there's going to be a choice here. But I feel there, you know, I love the Will-O-Wisp. This is about treasure hidden in the shadows. All may not be what it seems, so... Yeah, someone's intention. So definitely doesn't mean there's something negative because I feel it has to do with Feast of Plenty. So there's definitely something here, uh, maybe a little overwhelming. Okay, This person could, somebody could overwhelm you. You may be looking at what their intentions are. But I feel this person is about, um, they're looking at something here. I feel there's treasure here. And it could be someone who's seeing you that way. So <laughs> we're going to have a look at that energy, Pisces. But yeah, you've got the, and it could be yourself initiating. You can flip the energy. Pisces singles, what do they need to know about this overall energy? Yeah, so we have somebody here ready to manifest. Oh yeah, they have everything they need. This person has everything they need. They know everything they need to know. They're about to manifest. This is a communication coming in. Yeah, so that's definitely something very fast. So someone in a hurry here. <laughs> They're ready to manifest. Gemini, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Could be someone on the cusp. But this is, make sure you know what this person's intentions are. Okay, that's what I feel. It's in the center, so it's, it's for both of you. But I feel this is someone whose intentions is to initiate. They're about to cross that bridge. They're coming in pretty fast, pretty fiery. They could be a little bit flirty. Uh, that could be something that maybe they move too fast or it could be a little overwhelming. Yeah, their intentions is to start something here. You got someone new coming in. <laughs> little Leo energy. But yeah, it's an energy of getting that clarity at what their intentions are. Yeah, it's a person single. They're probably looking to see if you're single. They definitely are. I see Virgo, Taurus, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp energy, Leo, Virgo energy. <laughs> always have to look at the cusp. I don't always see it. Yeah, this is someone trying to figure something out. This is someone here, you know, maybe a little sneaky, but it's someone who's trying to figure out if you're single. They're very determined. They're coming in fast. So this is someone who wants to know if you started something new, but they want to start something. Now, this could be the one that got away. So that's why I feel if it's somebody here that you already know, you know just kind of look at it. I do feel they're very grounded. There's someone planning, preparing ahead. They're looking at the situation where they see themselves. They want to start something. They're looking at this very happy energy. There's two people in here, but you can see this is someone who um, often is in the spotlight, gets a lot of attention. <laughs> but it's about this person, I feel, is looking to see if you're single. They're trying to figure something out. Yeah, I, I see truth, someone's intentions. Yeah, there's treasure hidden in the shadow. So there's something hidden here, but it's treasure. It's positive. Oh, yeah, we got someone in their feelings here. Someone's figuring out their feelings. The one that got away, they're seeing the truth. See? Yeah, there it is. They're looking to see if there's something mutual. I see a little Aquarius energy. This person's fantasizing, uh, romanticizing, making some kind of choice. This is a person who often procrastinates. Yeah, but it's a person fantasizing here. They're about to make a decision. I feel this is someone looking at the truth. You may not feel the same. It might not be mutual. So some of you may have someone who's literally... Um, and this could be a masculine Pisces as well, or Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But it has to do with whether it's mutual. So this is someone definitely fantasizing. But I also feel there's someone here hiding behind a mask. Now, some of you, have, it's the one that got away where someone here has had feelings. They've kept it to themselves. They weren't showing their true self. So there's treasure, something good about this. Okay, But some of you, I really got to be honest here, uh, could be someone who comes in very fast, very fiery, very passionate, where they like attention. This is often the attention being in the spotlight. 
So, you know, someone here I feel is focusing those attentions on you. So it may not be mutual. You might not feel the same. But I'll tell you something. This isn't someone who gives up easy. <laughs> Uh -huh. not with this this seven of swords here is that one that got away yeah it's e waiting the one that got away the statue is melting this ice sculpture yeah someone here because it's someone who's procrastinating but i feel it's someone looking to see if you know if you still feel the same if it's mutual this is my mutual card it's energy of someone releasing things that no longer serve. It has to do with someone's worth and value. So it's often sometimes a person who's a little insecure. So they procrastinate, whether it's mutual. So it may be, but some of you could have someone who comes in very fast, very fiery. It could be overwhelming where you may not be interested. So we'll see. Yeah, because But you got something new here. <laughs> Some of you, I feel it, like I say, it's the one that got away, but it's a person who's also trying to figure something out. Um, often if you're single. Let's have a look at that um, Gemini energy with the magician. Why is the magician here? Is someone trying to manifest? Yeah, they're definitely someone who focuses a lot on their money. It's a person who feels they have a right to um, become stable, to focus on their financial stability. So this is someone who's been very busy. So I actually feel this is a person coming in. Could be someone that you already know. Like I say, the one that got away. They're now looking at this. They're apprehensive, but they want this to be successful. So I do feel this is somebody who's actually sincere. Okay, I don't think you have to worry about this person being a player. Okay, All isn't always what it seems. So that's why I feel this person's looking for clarity, making sure you're single. Because I do feel they, you know, it's an energy of them releasing things that no longer serve the procrastinating so now this is someone who's in a hurry and someone here is making a choice they're assessing the situation yeah let's have a look at this king of pentacles who is this person who are they yeah someone who's been focusing on their money investing hoping something pays off but it's also an energy of someone who's being patient yeah, it's an energy of possible reconciliation, but I feel it's somebody kind of waiting to make a decision. They're kind of looking at this. They're seeing the truth. It's often a person who tries to come up with some kind of idea, but it's I feel them seeing the truth. I feel like you're the one that got away for some of you, or it's someone who doesn't want you to get away. <laughs> and like I say, with the eye of the needle, it's their intentions. Looking at their true intentions, there's treasure hidden in the shadows. This is someone I feel is kind of hiding a little bit behind the mask. Okay, But I feel it's an energy of making sure that this person doesn't have other options. And it's more than likely this person looking to see that. But they are, I feel they are patient. Um, you know, it's about investing. It has to do with someone waiting for the right time. Someone who's focused on work. I feel they're busy, never seem to find the right time. So if you have someone you've been dating, maybe it's yourself making a decision to initiate with someone else. Yeah, there's a judgment, a decision here to do with communication. So I feel it's saying to be patient. Don't judge too harshly here because I feel all isn't what it seems. Let's have a look at the crossing, this person initiating. Yeah, see, it's initiating. This could be a place where you go socialize, where you spend money. This person could be a business owner, very busy. This is somebody here who's very busy. You know, this is someone who's, you know, choosing to focus on their finances. But I feel this is someone who's about to make that choice. Could be a reconciliation, definitely. But it's a judgment to heal, to release things that no longer serve them. Procrastination, taking off the mask, showing their true self, treasure hidden in the shadows. <laughs> I, but I actually feel this could be something overwhelming for yourself, okay? Because I feel they're coming in really fast. This is someone who's no longer procrastinating. Yeah, they're getting ready to invest emotionally. You may not be as interested, though. I have to be honest here. Let's have a look at that. Um, Oops, there we have, yeah, someone trusting their inner knowing, Pisces. See, it's a start of something new. Maybe just kind of keeping things to yourself, being a little mysterious. Yeah, looks like there's a decision here. And I do feel some of you, it's a reconciliation. Or you could just run into somebody someplace where you socialize, where you spend money. But that's where it's going to start. Yeah, it's an energy of seeing the truth. 
This could be from the masculine perspective. I have to be honest. This could be a Pisces here, this King of Cups. But I'm also seeing this some sort of choice possibly here. Some of you may have options here. I think this person is. Like I feel, it's say just trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Yeah. So it's keeping things to yourself, focus on your own money, doing your own thing. Yeah, you might not see it coming, to be honest. I feel like it's coming in quite suddenly, but I feel like you're going to run into this person. It's someone you know. Oh, yeah. yeah the, look what came out, the King of Swords. This is a person I feel chose their battle, chose to focus on work. Someone who rushed in and then backed out, but this person's now clear. See, this is someone who now feels confident. So they're trying to figure out if you're single. They feel this is somebody who's definitely confident in a choice, a decision they're about to make. Some Libra energy. Doesn't mean they are, but it's that energy. I see Aquarius too, so yeah. And Gemini, lots of air. Just energies. But I feel this is somebody here who's uh, confident. They're trying to figure something out. Yeah, They want to offer you a cup. They want to start something here. You've got to, and some of you could have someone new. And then you've got this person who's, you're going to run into. I actually feel there's a reconciliation, but I feel like you're going to just run into this person suddenly. You're going to have a conversation with them. It's starting something here. But this person's definitely someone who's very logical. Okay, very, very logical. They kind of are, this is person's confident now. They're, they've been thinking things through. Yeah, so someone who feels confident you're single, but they also see this Queen of Pentacles. This is a person who's often marriage material. So I feel like some of you, you're just focused on your house, your home, your money, your financial stability. You're just staying balanced. You're keeping to yourself or just sticking to yourself a lot these days. Yeah, definitely very grounded, balanced. This could be someone who comes into your workplace. The King and Queen of Pentacles, the power couple. It's kind of interesting here, but it's, like I say it's all to do with someone coming in feeling overwhelmed. It has to do with feeling comfortable. You know, it's about stability, safety, security. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have to make a choice, but this person's offering you a cup. It has to do with they're trying to figure something out there. I feel this is somebody here who's figuring out how they feel. And it could be yourself too, but there's treasure here. And it's, I feel this person seeing that something here, you see, where they rushed in, rushed out. Now they're thinking it through. They're rethinking a situation. Let's have a look at the eye of the needle, someone's intentions. But yeah, I feel some of you, maybe you have a new job, but I do see someone new here as well. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this person, I'll tell you, whoever they are, they're determined they're determined to win, so I feel if you aren't interested in them, I feel like you might have a hard time shaking this person. Choose wisely, feast of plenty. But yeah, there is treasure hidden in the shadows. This is someone figuring out how they feel. Their, their cup runneth over with emotion. Somebody here is falling in love. <laughs> if you've date, been dating someone new, it's possible this is someone who's ready to offer you the cup. There it is, starting something new. This is You've got a choice here. I do see reconciliation running into someone and a situation starting. But some of you may have already started something with another person here. We have a person, yeah, taking a leap of faith, throwing caution to wind. This person's just going for it. Whoever they are, they're just going for it. They want to start this. But I do feel this person's intentions is to, you know, take this leap of faith. Now, it could be someone who feels a little bit like a fool. It's taken them so long to figure out how they feel. Because this is often a person who's very logical. They think with their head, not their heart. So this is somebody here. That's the energy of, I feel, the balance here. Head and heart. But it has to do with whether it's mutual. Let's have a look at that truth. Yes. This is a person who's often very cautious. They keep a lot of their feelings to themselves. But there's the cup. I feel like you're about to get something you want here. But whether you want this or not, especially if it's a reconciliation, is another thing. I feel like you're going to play it safe yourself. You're just going to keep some things to yourself. You're going to just trust your intuition. Okay. But if this other person is Pisces, or they have Pisces in their chart as well, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, let's have a look at this King of Cups. What is this person's intentions? What are their intentions? And 
clear things up, clear things out. This is someone who is pinned down by their thoughts. So it's an energy of releasing things that no longer serve. It has to do with clearing things out. This is someone ready to clear out all their options. It's also someone trying to find out if you do as well. <laughs> they could go about something in a sneaky way here too. Like I say, it could be someone who feels like a fool, but it's also the energy of taking a leap of faith, throwing caution to the wind. As far as the feminine energy goes, if you have a little Aries in your chart or Scorpio, you know, it's just an energy, but it's an energy of thinking things through. Don't just, uh, you know, don't just go for this because, but I feel like it's them, but I still feel because it's here. That's the Queen of Pentacles energy of uh, looking at the situation, the details. It's an energy of just being a little mysterious. Somebody's trying to find something out here. Yeah, somebody has been pinned down by their thoughts. I feel it. Just watch if it is somebody who's been waiting for you to heal. Uh, it looks like someone here made a bad choice or a decision, but I feel that you're going to run into it. It's going to start someplace where you go, where you spend money or at a place of business. It's a generally a safe place. It's an energy of feeling safe and secure. So it's an energy I feel the Queen of Pentacles looking. Does this make you feel comfortable? They're coming in very fast, fiery. And it could be something that's already happened where someone feels like a fool. Um, for the way they communicated, something maybe they said, a bad choice. See, it's an energy of someone who didn't invest emotionally. It's a lot of passion, a lot of fire. And some of you have been there, done that. So like I say, if, if this person comes in this way, you know, say you, you may not go for it. I feel the decision, a lot of this is going to be yourself. But I feel this is someone who's doing a lot of thinking. They, they're thinking things through. This is someone who rushed in, changed their mind. And now they feel like you're the one that got away. Yeah. But if you have a choice, because I do see the sun here twice, you might decide to go for someone new. <laughs> Yeah, somebody with Virgo in their chart. Yeah, so some of you, if you're masculine Pisces, you may have a little Virgo in your chart. You're just soul searching, looking for clues, trying to see the truth to do with healing. Someone pinned down by their thoughts, releasing, see, letting go of all their options and taking a bit of a break. Yeah, there it is, releasing. I feel like this star is this person's, this is somebody... Uh, healing it has to do with loving themselves first knowing their own worth and value so this is someone who's gone through some kind of healing see yeah but if it is a reconciliation it could be someone looking to see if you're healed if you're over something that happened i still feel like you've got two things here you've got two so i do feel some of you are already focused on someone new but someone here is trying to find something out. Secrets, the mystery. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mystery here. I feel they have Pisces in their chart for the feminine, okay? And vice versa. Yeah. I feel it's a little bit of mystery here. Someone here wants to start something. And I do feel like, you know, it's an energy whether it's mutual. Someone's looking at this energy of mutual. Or there's some kind of secret. Yeah. But I feel this is someone who's releasing things that no longer serve. I also feel this is someone who's healed. Like I say, I feel like this is someone who is letting go of things that no longer serve. Procrastination, fantasizing, you see. It's an energy of making something real. This is someone who's just been fantasizing. A lot of this is in their head. This is often a person lies in bed at night and fantasizes about someone yeah, but I do feel this is someone who's been cautious. They've been keeping all their feelings to themselves. But now I feel this person's going to, it's an energy of filling that cup. So I do feel in your best interest, make sure you know what their intentions are. Because this could be somebody here who wants you to indulge them. Where you fill their cup. Now this could be where someone is having that, that realization. They didn't get what they wanted because they didn't give you something that you wanted. They kept their feelings to themselves, but this is someone figuring out their feelings. I can see this person's energy. Yeah, it's an energy of putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally, happy home, happy life. I see some kind of an event. So I feel this is the start of something new or someone coming in with a whole new energy, high vibrational. So someone seeing the high vibrational energy, but I still feel some of you have already kind of have your eye on someone else and you're kind of focused on them. But I also see this past energy too. That's where I feel. There's an energy of looking at this situation. 
You know, it's about initiating. I do feel like you could run into this person. There's going to be a conversation, but it's also the past where this is someone who maybe made a bad choice because they didn't invest emotionally. They were all head, not heart. So there's a lot to, here to do with balance. Queen of Pentacles is someone very balanced. Yeah, someone who focuses on their money, their house, their home. Someone who's often very gracious, makes people feel comfortable. So maybe this person's now realizing they made you feel uncomfortable. So now I feel they're trying to figure out how to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, they're looking to see if this is mutual. I feel it could be, but I do feel the energy with the star here twice. It's an energy of releasing things that no longer serve. Too much thinking, not enough action. So that's why I feel this person's now in a hurry. Yeah, it could be just someone you're seeing here. You know, it has to do with this person, you know. But I still feel some of you, it's a person who feels like a fool. They didn't express themselves. It's like they started it. And maybe they were looking at your intentions, but I feel for the feminine, make sure you look at this person's intentions, okay? Don't don't just, you know, throw caution to the wind and live in the moment. But I feel this person's going to. <laughs> Uh huh. I feel this is also someone who doesn't want to look like a fool in case you don't feel the same if it's not mutual. But I, I feel like some of you Pisces have a person who's really, really in their feelings here. It's them healing too. I feel this is them knowing their own worth and value. So someone here might have been a little bit sneaky because they needed to heal from something. Yeah, there's treasure in the shadows, the energy of someone showing their true self, putting all their cups on the table, happy home, happy life. This is a person who's looking to see, you know, what makes them happy, figuring out what makes them happy. But I feel as far as yourself too, like I say, it may not be mutual, you may not feel the same. And I feel this person's thinking about that too, but this could even be your own energy here. Yeah, see, this is a feast of plenty. This is someone emotionally overwhelmed. Choices and their consequences. This is somebody who's having to face the consequences of a bad choice, a bad decision. So I do feel like you might run into this person someplace. They might come into your place of business where you work or vice versa. This could be any place, but it's where it's going to start. It's going to start there. They're going to initiate this. It's about partnering up. But also, that this choice is yours. Is this in your best interest? That's why you need to look at what their intentions are. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. I feel they're looking at what yours were as well. Yeah. See, it has to do with someone reaching out, whether it's mutual. You may not feel the same. They're doing a lot of thinking. See, they weren't being very generous, I feel. They were keeping a lot of things to themselves. Maybe this person had other um, choices, options. Even the Queen of Pentacles is nobody's option here. But it has to do with being generous. See, the King of Cups is often more generous with their time, their energy, their feelings, and their emotions. See, they didn't get what they wanted. This is somebody who really wanted to be with you. And I do feel they made a bad choice. But now the choice is, is the feminine energy here. You might not feel the same. You might not even reciprocate or respond. I feel like you're just kind of doing your own thing here. Tell me about this King of Swords energy. What is this person's intentions? Well, I can see they're trying to figure something out. Maybe how you feel about them. Or they're going about something in a sneaky way, getting you to tell them how you feel first. This is definitely insecurity. So this isn't serving this person. They know it. They're seeing it. Yeah, see, it's a, someone longing for love here. This could be a new crush. Some of you could have a crush. You might be focused on them. You may not be interested. They're looking at all how this could play out. This is someone looking, planning, strategizing how this will all play out. Yeah, they definitely want to be with you. Let's see, it's an energy of someone waiting. See, this is someone who maybe kept you waiting. Now you may be looking elsewhere. See, they're looking at all this, how this could play out, what could happen. They're kind of preparing themselves. See, the choices, this energy of the consequences of their own actions. Yeah, but I feel for yourself, you know, really make sure you know. Yeah, but I, I feel this is someone emotionally overwhelmed. It's possible this is someone It's too good to be true. They became emotionally overwhelmed. This is someone who needed to heal. They needed to clear something up, clear things out. And I do think letting go of all their options, it no longer serves. See, this is someone who maybe treated you that way. Okay. 
But now you may have other options. They're seeing that. You, it may no longer be mutual. And others of you, if it is just someone new, you still have that energy where it might not be mutual. You may not feel. You still could be. Some of you could be still focused on this other person. So, yeah, it's all it's just it's all about how you feel here. It's your own choice decision, but it has to do with someone's past decisions has consequences. Yeah, it's crushing longing. Could be someone missing you, but some of you definitely have a new crush while you're waiting. You may be focused on a new crush. Now, this is a person, I tell you, they're longing for love, but they made some sort of choice all with their head too, not their heart. This is someone who didn't follow their heart. And I do feel they became emotionally overwhelmed. Well, they're about to make a choice to communicate. They're about to make a decision whether you invest in this or not. So this is someone who's been kind of waiting for the right opportunity to approach you someplace. So they're obviously still around you, whether you know it or not. But I feel this energy. This is someone who kind of feels like it's too late. You may have had other options. I feel some of you are still kind of waiting. You're looking out else there, or you're still waiting for this person. They're looking at that too. Yeah, they're looking at how this will play out. Yeah, whether it's mutual. See, this is somebody who wanted to know if you felt the same way as them, but they went about something in a sneaky way, so they didn't get what they wanted. But I feel this is someone who didn't give you something you wanted. I feel they weren't being very generous. They weren't showing um, that they were invested is what I feel. And I do feel they were emotionally overwhelmed. So, But it's about putting all their cups on the table. It's an energy of someone seeing the bigger picture. See, they're seeing the bigger picture after a period of time. They've been focusing on work, and I feel maybe even working on themselves here too. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. See, it's all about the timing. It's about investing, hoping something pays off. They hope this pays off. They definitely are someone who chose to focus on work. It's a person who wants to be financially stable. And I feel like it's yourself too. <laughs> King and Queen of Pentacles, yeah. See, it's an energy of investing. Yeah. Someplace in your community where you socialize or they're looking to see if you're invested in anyone else. They could be checking you out online, social media, or just someplace out, I feel, in your community. Yeah, some kind of positive news here. So someone, I feel, they're going to find out that you're just kind of doing your own thing. But I still feel some of you are still focused on something else. But this person, it has to do with this person discovering the mystery. It's about discovering you, something they're discovering. And while they're kind of going through this, they're discovering things about themselves. Yeah. I, I feel it's a, you know, soulmate connection, maybe friends first. This could be just a friend who's catching feelings too. And they may know and be very aware you're waiting for someone else, waiting for them to reciprocate. That's a situation about to come to fruition. So, like I say, some of you have been waiting for someone here. I do feel like you have some kind of a choice to make. Your choice. But this person, feast of plenty. Yeah, this is someone who was overwhelmed. You can see, overwhelmed. And I'm surprised the Two of Swords isn't here for indecision, but it's definitely someone who's laying in bed at night and fantasizing about their hopes and dreams. I feel this is someone who just kind of lied there thinking, you know, this is just too good to be true. It just can't be. You must have other options. Yeah. Tell me about the star. Yeah, see, that fantasizing, romanticizing. It's making choices. See, they're looking. I feel this is someone who feels like it's too good to be true. Maybe they feel like you're out of their league. Why would you be interested in them? This is a person who definitely was pinned down by their thoughts. Yeah, see, it has to do with a judgment. Maybe this person judged you wrong. But I'm going to tell you something. They are judging themselves. You know, it's about coming in right, doing the right thing. See, it's about being fair. See, this person maybe wasn't fair. But I honestly, I feel as this person, I feel a lot of this is, is why you liked them in the first place. It's too good to be true. You're out of their league. But this is someone I feel who needed to heal, maybe from a past relationship, baggage from a past relationship where they were, you know, maybe treated like they weren't good enough. Yeah, that's a person definitely on that journey. This is a journey, someone here. Tell me about this King of Cups. 
I still feel some of you've got a choice. I really do. I feel like you have a choice to make. I feel like you've got someone new. Someone new coming in, and then there's this person thinking reconciliation, yeah? Taking it to the next level. I see some cancer energy. See a lot of confusion, illusion, romanticizing, fantasizing. Yes, yes. habits, lifestyle. See, they're on a, this person's on a spiritual journey. Ooh, a little bit of the dark night of the soul. Yeah, but they're looking at how you conducted yourself. Very kind, compassionate. There, this, is, this is a couple. This is two people. Yeah, this is two people who really don't even know how the other person feels. It's like a secret. But I, I do feel, you know, it has to do with the way two people conduct themselves. It's about being on the same page. How do you get on the same page with someone if they keep everything to themselves and they don't share their feelings? See, they're seeing the truth. This is someone who maybe wasn't fair, didn't treat you right. But I also feel this person definitely had things they needed to sort out. They needed to heal from. So sometimes things are just meant to be for whatever reason. But it's up to you to decide because I see a choice. Soulmate connection. I feel it could be just an energy of friends first. Maybe this person just said, let's just be friends. Or maybe you did. And they could be a friend too who is trying to, who knows you're waiting for someone to reach out. So, yeah, some of you. But I, I feel this energy of two people seeing the bigger picture, treasure hidden in the shadows. I actually feel this is someone who can be very kind, compassionate, and actually very generous. They like to often give gifts. Now, some of you may have been generous with this person, maybe gave them a little gift, something simple to show you you like them, but they never reciprocated it. So I do feel this is someone who feels like a fool. There's things this person, I feel, just wasn't seeing yeah tell me about the hermit yeah see this is someone who feels like they're not good enough see, this is someone who has that self-fulfilling prophecy feeling like they weren't good enough there's an energy of lack and loneliness they may have a relationship with someone who didn't treat them right or they have baggage from a past relationship of some kind this is definitely a person who feels they have insecurities often people with insecurities uh, will do these sneaky things, you see. Uh, try to figure out how you feel first. They want where they wanted you to take the risk. But I feel this person's about to take the risk. They're going to initiate. They have to take the lead. This person knows. I do feel they are old school rules. I, I do. But I feel this is morals and values. See, it's the way they conducted themselves. There's that mystery confusion. But I, I see this energy of you know, taking this to the next level. And I feel some of you, this person kind of left you confused. I feel both people were at this point of just feeling confused, but it has to do with this crossroads. You know, this person wants to approach you, I'll tell you. You know, they might be, like I say, I feel they have a, they had some insecurities. I feel they just lack in a last relationship. But make sure you know what their intentions are. This is often a person who comes in and acts like, you know, make sure they aren't in a relationship too, for some of you, where they come in and tell you, I'm in a relationship and they treat me bad and I'm lonely. So really watch that energy. But I do, do feel for most of you, they're the will-o'-wisp, treasure hidden in the shadows. This is someone who's seeing the treasure, this opportunity, this gift that the universe gave them. And if you did give this person a gift, something sentimental, they're maybe reminiscing, maybe even looking at it, which has got them thinking. Yeah. It's the Queen of Cups. Somebody here, I feel for the feminine Pisces here. It's definitely some cancer energy. But if it is a masculine Pisces, I feel it's energy of healing from that past relationship, that negativity, that you're not good enough, or, you know, or it's too late to be married or get into a relationship. Just a, this is an energy of someone who just fantasizes. They don't really take action, but I feel they're going to. Queen of Cups, and we'll wrap it up. Yeah, so we have the energy of the Queen of Swords. See, it's being very discerning, being, being wise. Now, this could be somebody in the social circle giving someone advice. Someone may have manipulated as well. Yeah, but it's an energy of someone who's speaking the truth. Some Libra energy, justice and balance. So maybe you cut this person out. Because their morals, values, you just weren't on the same page. They were being mysterious, secretive. You might even know the truth. It's very possible you already know your inner knowing that you already know. 
Now there is a possibility this is someone who maybe was connected to somebody else and they didn't tell you. But I feel here for most of you is where you've cut this person out, the feminine, because they're not telling you the truth. But I feel like you know the truth. Yeah, so somebody here has a fear of commitment too, often a fear of commitment because of a, a bad relationship they had before, whether they were um, the one who did it or it's the other person. They may have been in a relationship with a lot of lack, but just make sure that somebody isn't, you know, making up excuses here. I, for the most part, I feel this is just this person thinking about what it is they want and looking at how this is all going to play out. They're seeing the bigger picture. They're figuring out what makes them happy, what fulfills them emotionally. Happy home, happy life. They are a family person. Yeah, maybe there was just too many people involved with that three of cups. But this has to do with someone waiting. I feel there's some place maybe where you go, maybe this person's just kind of waiting to see if you'll show up. But I actually feel like you're going to just connect with this person someplace. And it does look like an X energy. So, yeah. And we have the Queen of Wands. So this is all the energies of the Empress coming out here. So someone who knows exactly what they want, not settling. So Pisces, Feminine, some of you have a little Aries in your chart. So I do feel an energy of, you know, sometimes it's being a little blunt. Somebody who speaks up, speaks their mind. You know, you're not settling. You want to be happy. You're also looking, I feel, at what makes you happy, seeing the bigger picture. So, so maybe something you said, being a little blunt, a little harsh, maybe made this person feel bad, or they made you feel that way. Okay, someone who's not good enough, they made you feel that way. But it's, I actually feel it is that way. But I, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you're the feminine. This is where you, you know, stand up for yourself. You speak your truth. You are focused, driven, very creative. Someone who's definitely hardworking. So you focus a lot on money. Someone who just sticks to themselves. And I do feel an energy of someone being very independent. Yeah. So some of you have a choice to make here. It's all yourself too, Pisces, feminine, seeing the truth. But for those Pisces masculines, it's about taking things to the next level, seeing the truth, making sure this person isn't keeping secrets. The Queen of Swords wants to know the truth, nothing but the truth. But it's also that energy of that someone has already spoke the truth. Yeah, I feel someone judged. It's an energy of judging. Somebody made a judgment, a decision. So... Yeah, I don't feel there's an absolute conclusion, but it has to do with someone who has a fear of commitment, taking things to the next level. And I do feel it's because they either feel like they're not good enough, you're out of their league, but it's just too good to be true. Because there's so much fantasizing here. But this is definitely a person pinned down by their thoughts. So they're thinking about this. And I do feel it's energy... Um, with the Queen of Swords, somebody need you know, watching your words, the feminine, don't be too blunt, too harsh. See, looking at things from a uh, being more kind, compassionate, caring. Yeah, but I, I feel like there's, and I'm surprised the Five of Swords hasn't come out with miscommunication, mixed messages, mixed signals, because there's just a confusion, illusion. Yeah, and some of you too. I do see some of you got someone here who's making a play for you. They're coming in. Um, they're just, you know, overwhelmed with emotion. Uh, they want to take things to the next level. You might have a couple dates with someone, but I'm going to be honest. I feel like you're not on the same page lifestyle. Some of you are going to cut somebody out. Okay. So there's definitely those, that two energies of the two King of Cups. One of them is emotionally mature, available, but I feel like you're looking at this person where they're just not your type. You could also have a little fear of commitment here, some of you, the feminine, <laughs> especially if you're, if you are one who's very independent. So there it is, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. Some of you feel like you're not compatible with someone there. And I do feel like you have, because there is the sun here twice one of them is possibly reconciliation but this is where i feel like you have to make a choice choices have their consequences so they say treasure hidden in the shadow it's about you i feel discovering that knowing exactly what you want where you see yourself very goal oriented too i feel this is something this other person here isn't didn't see you're very goal oriented someone who's very happy um yeah, you know, 
I feel with the three of wands, it's an energy of cooperating and compromising the things you have in common. Some of you cutting someone out, you have nothing in common, but I still feel like you've got this other person. Now you can flip that. You may go for the new, but some of you, I got to be honest, you've got a, a person coming back around here. You, they're just going to run into this person someplace. They're going to initiate. Now, some of you could have a person at work that's doing the initiating that you may not be on the same page. They're giving you a lot of attention, I feel. They're, it's, it's overwhelming. So, yeah. So it's an energy telling you cooperation, compromise. Look for compatibility. Look to see what someone brings to the table. There's treasure in the shadow. So I feel it's saying to just be a little patient. The energy of three. Okay, just be a little patient here. Take a little time. Look at the situation. Mm -hmm. See, it's an energy of the mask. Someone hiding behind a mask, hiding their true self. That's this person here who maybe treated you like you weren't good enough, but they had insecurities. Yeah, I, I feel there's just baggage that needs to be released. It could even be some of it yourself. Okay, just releasing that. The thoughts that pin you down. The things that are keeping you kind of pinned down here. So... But just take it as it resonates. See, it's an energy of being a little cautious, a little careful what you wish for, what you're manifesting. Okay, because you may actually get it, but someone may act exactly like they did before. So just be wise. Trust your inner knowing. Okay. I, I still feel you can flip it though, where this the new person that you maybe meet at work or a place here that's wanting to take things to the next level that I feel that's the person that you actually aren't that interested. It's not mutual. You may have somebody else, like I say, who's, yeah, I mean, this is pretty interesting here. You know, it's possible you all go to a lot of the same places, but I feel you've got a person after a period of time looking at this. You have a person who's very sincere. In fact, I feel both will be sincere. Yeah. Like I say, just really watch because it's an energy of three. Choosing the person who's the most compatible, the things you have in common, lifestyle, habits. Yeah. So I tell you to, you know, be calm, choose your words here, to kind of think things through, but your intuition is going to guide you. Just kind of keep things to yourself and look at the situation before you even do anything. Someone reaches out suddenly, don't respond right away. Okay. If you have somebody here that it is a, a new or reconciliation, don't respond to them right away. Keep them waiting for a little bit. Okay, this is where you get somebody. This is that I, I feel the energy of the Empress coming out uh, where somebody here starts to feel very emotional because you're not responding right away, that you may be looking elsewhere. So, <laughs> yeah. There it is, tempering the words, see? Some sort of temptation. Somebody here is tempting you. You're tempted by this reconciliation. But it's telling you to pull back and look at things. Now, I do feel like you also have someone new coming in, someone who's different than your usual type. But I feel like the person coming in is going to come in different. I really do, okay? So I know it's confusing. I see the moon, habits, lifestyles, the way you conduct yourself. Look at how you conduct yourself and how this, how they conduct themselves. And just don't be afraid to speak up, but just do it in a kind of compassionate way, okay? And all isn't what it seems. Someone's hiding behind a mask, hiding their true self. Yeah, see, this is someone here. This is an energy of... Someone who acts like they're interested, but they're not. And I do see someone here not reaching out to someone, leaving them waiting, letting somebody wait. So the heart grows fonder. And that could be a crush or an X energy. So there it is. You know, someone's crazy about you, but they keep their feelings to themselves. Treasure in the shadows. Oh, I feel like you're going to have to sort this out, but I really wish you the best. I do feel this will work out just fine because I do see this wisdom. I see all the queens are here. So this is why I feel the empress energy is here. But this is also the empress energy, someone who acts like they're not interested, but they are. But I also feel this other person was in that energy too. They've kept everything to themselves. So all is it what it seems between these two people and your choices. So choose wisely. Take care and we'll see you soon.